Hi everybody. Today I'll show you how to set up your Q server right out of the box so you can start building your very own project. Once you've opened and unpacked the Q server box, you'll find this handy quick start guide. We'll follow the instructions listed inside to connect your Q server to your network and the quantum cloud. The Q server comes with a 5 volt wall plug and adapters for specific countries. Use an adapter of your choice and plug in your server to a wall outlet. The Q server is also part of the starter bundle. You can find more information about it on our website. Let's start by connecting the power. You should see a solid blue light appear. This means the Q server is powered on. Once your server has power, wait for the green status light to start blinking. It can take a second for this to happen. Once you see that green status light blinking, that means the Wi-Fi setup is running. Next, we will need to connect the Q server to your network. Go to your Wi-Fi network settings and select the network Quantum Setup. You'll lose your Wi-Fi connection momentarily until you complete the next step. A Wi-Fi window should appear. From the Wi-Fi page, enter your own network name and password and click Continue. And then on the next screen, click Connect and Save. Your server will start to reboot. Once it is connected to the network, the green status light will change to amber with two blinks. You will also notice that your Wi-Fi will switch back to your normal network from the Quantum Setup Network. Once your computer is connected back to your normal network, go to quantumintegrate.com register and follow the registration steps. For when you have to enter the product serial number, you can find that information on the bottom of the Q server. After completing the registration, you will receive a verification email to sign into your Quantum Cloud account. Click the link in the email or go to quantumintegrate.com cloud. Once you've logged into your account, the Quantum Cloud page appears and displays your Q server online status with its IP address and unique serial number. We recommend that you bookmark this page before continuing. Once your Q server shows that it's online, click the open button to continue setting up your Q server. In the first of the four steps, you'll notice that the system requires you to create a unique pin code. We highly recommend that you write it down to make sure that you don't forget it. This pin is unique only to you, and if you forget the pin, the Q server will have to be factory reset and you will lose all data on your server. The quick start guide also provides you with a handy place to write down this pin code. Next, log into your cloud account that you set up earlier. Now, select your country and time zone. You can do this by scrolling through the list or searching for them at the top by typing in a letter. Finally, it will ask you if you want to turn on developer mode. This is handy if you want to create your own firmware and applications, but if it's not for you, you can switch it off. You can always turn it back on later in the settings. After you have completed these steps, your Quantum Q server homepage will load. Now you're all set to start your first project. In the next video, I'll be discussing the Q Cloud interface in a bit more detail. I'll see you then. We hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the rest of our videos. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification button for updates. You can also follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.